uh, and the other strings tapped so probably something on my end I haven't done this in a long time so that might be why let me make sure that we are okay yeah I think we lost connection I lost a lot of you hopefully you can get back little by little back then technology technology long message no I don't know I got disconnected somehow technology yeah, between technology and me this is not, not working out all right guys so seriously speaking I will see this battery we know how to deal with it already so no need to go like crazy <laughs> we're back, we're back. Uh, the board color. Okay, guys, there's a video on, the, on my YouTube channel on how to do it. But basically, uh, in that video, I tell you how to upload any background you want. Once you have the background, I think you can go. Let me see. Let me like this. See, just choose overlay, and it's gonna take whatever you have in the background for the board. Okay. Okay, so now to be take 94 comes to mind as well. Mm, you know what? I like 94. Let's get rid of one of the bishops, especially that powerful bishop they have on three. Why not? And that's why I played h6 myself because if I ever played um, bishop e6, I didn't want the knight to attack that. And also bishop g5, things like that. Sound is weird. Okay, so I'm glad that you guys are telling me. Might be fault. Okay, let me see. Maybe it's not taking. Um... Ah, yeah, that's why, that's why, that's why. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, is it better now? <laughs> is it better now? No, it's connected, it's just that it was not taking it. It was taking the, the computer. Okay, you're better, but not great. <laughs> okay, okay, sorry guys, sorry, sorry. Sorry about that. Now, let me go ahead and chop off that bishop. All right. Thanks a lot for letting me know right away, guys. All right, so knight d4, we've seen this in other variations of the Pierce defense, defense, especially the classical. When we first talked about it, I told you about 97, right? And the idea is to play a five, a four. But here it's very nice because if they take, we got a fork, we're hitting C2 and we could still play F5, F4. Now, how much time are we playing? Three, two, okay. All right, good. By the way, guys, if you're challenging me today, let's try to put the increment, either five, five or three, two, because if not, like always, we get to time pressure and we gotta play like crazy because we don't have time left. All right, so this is a simple fork. My opponent is getting, you see, time, it looks like time is getting to, to my opponent. So how is uh, 2023 going, guys? How is that chess going? <laughs> now, I'd rather, if you, wanna, if you want, send it. But if you think about it, 5-5 five, five, at the end of the day is going to be the same thing as 10 minutes because if we do enough moves, it's going to add up. And if we ever get into, get into time pressure, we don't have to worry about it. Okay, let me hit the knight with the bishop. That way I finish development. All right, you know, Rush, uh, Richard has the last word and that's how we're going to play it. All right, 2023 going great. I hope that um, you're finding time to do a little bit of training. I hope that you guys are gonna be playing some tournaments. Now, B5, B4, interesting, but Queen G5, um, it, looks, uh, it, it looks intimidating. I wanted to do it before, but then I was hitting hmm, C7, all right. All right, the same one, right? So don't forget to leave, uh, leave the link in the in the comments 
and that way I can pin it, that way people can find you. I like what you're doing, so keep it up. All right, let's try to open up lines. This game shouldn't be that difficult because our opponent gave us that queen, so it should be very easy to convert now. All right, we take. Okay, so this should be, this should be easy now. <laughs> okay, this is a nice checkmate, uh, force checkmate, I believe. If they had taken, then check and checkmate. But then with this, this is checkmate as well. All right, we got that one and let me close. And okay, so next one that I have, I'm going in order, guys. So I see three, two. Let's play four. No, and besides, with the, the title that I put on the video, I, I understand. It, it gets to you guys. <laughs> okay, D4, so Pierce Defense. Let's see if they, they're over less than 51 or less than 69. All right, this is 51, all right, all right, so E5, we can't, F4. All right, let me just play not F3, let me keep it cool. Doesn't matter, just know that if you do it rated, I'm gonna be collecting those rating points. <laughs> okay guys, so let me do this move, because um, a lot of you who went over less than 51, you asked me the same question. What if they play bishop d2? Well, if bishop d2, instead of doing that move, I think I said when you see the bishop on d2, move the queen right away. Well, you should play e5 first, challenge the center, because this is not so powerful yet. Only then you play queen c7, okay? So, all right, let me just keep it simple. <laughs> well, I don't mean to be uh, mean, but... Probably, I mean, I don't think you're losing streak is because of openings. It, something has to be either the way you're approaching, the time control, your middle game, your end game, but openings are not that big a deal. Maybe you start consuming less time in, in the opening. Maybe you get more comfortable possessions, but still you have to be able to convert afterwards. Um, okay, so queen e2, why not? But with that said, I know, I know the feeling of finally having your opening repertoire under control. I know the feeling. Okay, why not? Yeah, they said um, streaming stopped because of, because of an error, but it didn't give me a code, it didn't give me anything. So it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Thank you, thank you, and thanks a lot for being here. Well, still, let's not say anything about the lessons until we finish, because. If I get destroyed today, I, I wouldn't know what to say. All right, this is a little bit uh, counterintuitive. They have c6 to play b5 and b4, but uh, let's castle opposite side. This king is in the center. If they go to the king side, g4, g5. Actually, let's play g4, g5. Computer said no, and we said yes, back at it. Okay, g5. Okay, let me try this. Thank you, thank you. Um, already, well, I was born in, born in March 1992. So, do the math. <laughs> Send a challenge. Okay, you're going to find... Let me see, right here, you're gonna see my username below the board. Just send me a challenge on chess.com, okay? Yes, exactly. No, and also, that's what, what I was saying be before. Um, when you start playing new openings, you need, you need to get uh, adjusted, you need to get used to them. And at least in my experience, myself, my students, 
we go through a process that you're losing, losing, losing because you're getting used to the new ideas and so on. But hey, you're gonna grow a lot as a chess player. All right, my opponent said, enough is enough. The title, that knight h4 move, cannot handle it. So we go to the next one. Let me go full and I have my next opponent right here. We got the black pieces. All right, was, is this first time? No, 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 second game with the black pieces. Okay, so we're playing 3-2. Let's play our King's Indian defense, unless... All right, so this is looking like a London against the King's Indian defense. Yep, that's exactly what it is. Mm. Guys, if you remember lesson 87, we learned how to play King's Indian defense against the London system, right? So let me play rook e8. Uh, I, I don't know, if, if you put it in the, in the comments, not in the chat, in the comments, I should be able to see it and just uh, pin it. Um, but if you put it in the chat, I might miss it because I'm playing, I'm looking at the chat, and I miss a, a lot. You know, I, I'll, I'll be lucky if I make it to 60. <laughs> no, 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 not really, not really. Okay, I, it, it, this was not for me, I thought it was for... <laughs> hello, hello. <laughs> okay, okay, now I, saw, I just saw this. So guys, someone said... Actually, you said um, losing a piece because of e4, but just in case you play this, okay? So at this point, all you have to do is bishop g5. At least you pin the knight. e4 is not going to be so effective because the bishop, the knight is being pinned. Uh, of course, if you go back, yes, the fork is coming. Mm. Now, the... This is something else, if you play this as white, if you ever play against this King's Indian setup, this bishop, most of the time, you should bring it to e2. That way you're not exposed to forks like that, right? And you're not blocking your, your queen as well. All right, so we take, now we're up a piece, same thing. We're just gonna keep it simple, try to simplify the game. Nothing special. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just that um, it's just that they thought they had to go back, and then I had the fork, but they had bishop g5. That's why they said, if I'm gonna lose a piece, at least let me get the pawn, right? Okay, so again, I'm winning already by a piece. Simplification. There you go. That's it. If I get, you mean if I get white, right? You, you want me to play it as white or you want me to play it as black? Okay, I wanted to make sure that I, I had this square for the knight, but uh, if g3, I could always go knight h3, knight g5. So nothing, nothing crazy. Hmm. This and this, or I like knight d3 better. Hitting b2. If b2 is moved, then this bishop becomes more powerful. Mm. Yeah, only private. And like, I'm, I have already like a number of students that I teach privately, but that said, um, as far as paid courses, I'm trying to keep everything free, guys. Just put it here on YouTube, that way anyone can access it. Uh, but you know, if you guys keep repeating it, I might just do a few <laughs> paid courses. <laughs> All right, so 95, interesting, but you know what? Let me keep it simple, activate my rogue. 
Now, the only thing that could get me in trouble was lack of development, but now my opponent is the one with lack of development. Okay, you got it, you got it. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you, sir, nice to see you back here. <laughs> okay, so this is just already uh, too much, guys. That's just too much. No, that was that was during the holidays. It went it went up already. All right, so let's go to the next one. And okay, okay. So I got the white pieces. Let me play D4. You asked for the Kali system. Let's see if our opponent. Okay, we're playing a sixteen hundred, and they are playing. It seems like they're gonna play this same setup. E3. Now the Collie, you know, we had we went over it on lesson, I want to say 104, 104, 106. And of course you could play it with C3. We covered it with the Fianchero on the on the queen side. Okay. Nigeria. <laughs> All right, so knight b2, d2, c4. I like all of this. Even e4 is very nice. We know e5 is coming. Let me play c4. Why not? Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I'm going to try, guys, to give you... A little bit of everything um, we're gonna go back to what we were doing at the beginning which was every 10 lessons or so do a little bit of end games middle games openings soon we're going to start learning uh, we gotta cover a few things we have left about the collie believe it or not the anti collies how to play when they play bishop f5 when they play bishop g4 and then we gotta go to the Queen's gambit uh, exchange variation but little by little all right so you see what I told you if you play against these Kings Indian systems Maybe the bishop on e2 is a better idea, right? But let me take here. Well, it's just I have a list with the, the content and the number of the lesson. And every night for the last three years, um, I just repeat it. Before I go to bed, I just repeat. <laughs> now, I just, guys, I did them, so I do remember. I just remember. All right, let me go back to C2, why not? Hey, hey, hey. Well, that's what we've been doing the most. Like if you think about it, we haven't done a lot of uh, opening videos. For the last 10, 15 lessons, it's been about tactics, how to calculate, how to behave when you're playing a, uh, a serious or a classical game. Uh, the candidate moves. We talked about the correspond, no, the resulting moves. That's what that what that's what we've been focusing the most on for the last 10, 15 videos. All right. Um, cannot take yet. Cannot take yet. Okay. Let's see. If we can, let's see if we can put pressure on that pawn. I got two already. This is gonna be number three. Let's see. No, I, I don't, and no, I don't. You know, I when I was um, when I, when I decided that I wanted to try something like chess base, I used to use it like many years ago when I first started to have access to a computer and chess programs. Chess base and Fritz were the first ones that I saw. But now, when I was again, I'm like, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna need something like chess base. I saw websites, guys, already like uh, leechess, chess.com. They offer the same thing chess base use, uh, is, is offering. Unless I'm missing something, if you want to save your lines, your, your studies, you could do it on leechess or chess.com. If you want to access databases, everything is online already. And again, maybe if you are training at a different level, maybe you need something uh, like something else. But for me, that's more than enough. So I, I decided not to buy it. And 
I have a few friends who use it, and I asked them, hey, do you think it's worth it to go for? And they said, you know what? I think not, not anymore. But again, that's just me for my needs. Maybe you guys find more value in those websites. Okay, now, with that said, can we take? Of course we cannot take. This is coming in, fine. Oh, oh, oh. do we have increment? Ah, uh, we have increment, okay. So 15, 15 seconds, let me stop talking. Let me stop talking. This night, I might just put it on A3, that way I don't block the bishop. Let's see. All right, we got that one. I had to be quiet because I was talking and talking and consumed a lot of time. Okay. Uh, ah, that, that just goes just... <laughs> no, yeah, guys, you're right. You're right. What can I say? No, no, no. Okay, let, let's go back to, to that point. Let me see. Um, no, 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 no. We want to keep things quiet. Okay, let me see. I think the critical moment, if we go back... Okay, right here. Like, if you think about it, I had to either play this or continue to get more passive, and it was not gonna be nice, having that bishop cutting through that diagonal. So I had to play F3, and then here, the thing is that if I don't take with the G pawn, 
then this is going to be an isolated pond in the center. And this rook is very well placed. So it's a matter of time before they start drilling on that pond. So I figured sooner or later, I might have to play for it. Besides, I have plenty of pieces to defend my king. So, and if you remember like 10 lessons ago, like lesson 196, 97, we talked about how this could be a liability, but it could be also an asset if we move the king and occupy the G file. So I figured my king should be safe like this. I could play four like you saw, but probably it was, it was strong. Now, let me actually make it, let me see. Uh, just for a second. Let me see, I don't, I don't know, I don't think, yeah, maybe this is better, maybe this is better. Truth is that I got uncomfortable there for a moment, so this is something I have, I have to review. Now, let me go to my next opponent. Okay, so I have here, this you cannot accept this challenge. Okay, this one I could, and all right, let's play another three, see how this goes. Now here, I'm thinking of getting into a King's Indian attack, but we could even do play d4 and we get into a Catalan, or in this case, the Ankara variation against the King's Indian defense, or we could play more like an English. So what to play? Let me play d4. Let's see how this goes. Okay, let me play knight c3. Now we're playing in 1900, so definitely my opponent knows what he's doing. And look, if I play e4, we go from playing a King's Indian defense to a Sicilian defense. It's the same thing as e4, c5, and then Fianchetto variation. Now, should I take? I'm gonna take, see what happens. All right, so all I'm doing is improving my pieces, little by little, that's it. Just improving my pieces. Tactics, tactics in the air. Cha, 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 cha. Yep, I'm gonna take it, see what happens. So lack of development, rooks are not connected, little tactic for us right there. Now, I don't want to give up my pro bishops and at the same time help them develop. So, besides, I think this has to be winning material with the pro bishops. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> All right, guys, so again, this is, I think on lesson 112, we talked about how to use the pro bishops. So if you haven't seen it, go back to the YouTube channel, lesson, video number 111, I want to say 12. Uh, we talked about how to use the pro bishops. Now, I'm here acting like, oh, should I give my powerful bishops? Nah, if I see a rook, <laughs> I'm gonna take it. And that's something that we mentioned. One of the perks of having the pro bishops is that you can give it up whenever you like. Okay, so this, I'm really not that concerned. All I'm thinking about now is simplify the game. I'm winning by a lot, just simplify. Yep, from Miami, in Miami right now. <laughs> Enjoying that we don't have any snow. Like I was, I was teaching a lesson yesterday and uh, the student that I was working with, he's from Philadelphia. And he was telling me that uh, he was getting some snow. And I'm like, well, I'm, I'm glad that it's not the case here. Okay, any ideas with this? We have to at least consider it. Now that night is going where? Uh, all right, let me keep on going. Guys, I don't need to get creative. I don't need to do anything silly. Just don't give your opponent any counterplay. That knight maybe is coming here. I don't mind it. I just want to simplify the game. Africa, you know, I've been, Africa has been in our bucket list for a long time. Let's see when we can pay you the visit. Okay, 95, I like 95. 
I like knight e5 because it takes care of this uh, of this move. I know my opponent's plan is to go to c4. I could have played b3. Or I could have played this. Now look at this. This is just simplification full time. Now, probably I didn't need to. Probably just go after the pawn, something like that. But this is to me, this is the easiest way to convert such an advantage. Oop, Bishop Cemetery. I don't know if it works, but I'm gonna go for it. All right, that bishop is trapped. We go for it right now. Uh, maybe I have played it, but I haven't been, I'm not aware, I'm not aware of, uh... all right. Now this is, uh, if you've reviewed uh, Fisher versus Paskis games, you remember that Bishop Cemetery, so we cannot forget that. Okay, they had to get something for it. My opponent says, I don't believe you. Show me that you know how to win this end game. Alright, we got that one guys, we got a little bit lucky, but again, we didn't do anything extraordinary. Let me see if I can before we go on to the next one. So we started with our fianchero, and then from here we've talked already about the King's Indian attack, one of my favorite openings. We covered it on lesson 79, 80. Here it's looking more like a King's Indian, and then all of a sudden more like a Sicilian when I played uh, when they play c5, right? So rook d8, bishop e3, little trick and my opponent um, just let me do, do that. From that moment on, everything collapsed and we got the game. All right, let me go to the next one. And okay, so I got my next opponent. Let's do it. Okay, e4, should we play? Let me play our Pierce defense. If you want me to play a different opening, some of you asked for the Collie. If you want a different opening for black, let me know and we can try it as well, okay? All right, this line, there is a game, guys, there's one video coming out tomorrow where someone played this Austrian attack. We have a lesson, lesson 73, we learn how to play against it. Um, okay, we talked about this. Yeah. Ah, there you go, there you go. So lesson 73, 69, we learned the regular Pierce defense. 73, we talked about the, how to play against the Austrian attack. Now, this line, I didn't mention it. I think I told you guys to play um, F takes E6. But uh, this is a very interesting line. And I started to play it more after I saw um, Carlsen and Nakamura playing this line. And I'm like, you know what? If they're playing this, let me, let me give it a try. Well, they could play the 150 attack as well, which is the one that I get the most and is pretty, pretty aggressive. All right, so the trick here is to remember not to take the pawn or they have this move. Okay. Okay, so now, yes, my king is in the center. I didn't castle, but I'm one move away from castling by foot. They are attacking my knight. I'm attacking theirs. No, 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 that line, we want to avoid it. So that's another, that's a, that's another good reason to play this line of bishop takes b5. Yeah, that line, I want to avoid it because if you're playing someone that you don't want to draw against or you're playing a game where you need to win you don't want to get for you don't you don't want to go for that for that variation even though guys unless you're playing at a pretty high level 
a lot of people don't really study this opening, so I don't think they know that a lot. Okay, what was the deal here? I think... Uh, was it queen h5 or queen c5? I'll just go back. Mm -mm, this cannot be it. They have knight b oh, no, no, this could be it, actually. This doesn't work. Am I missing something? Okay, let's find out. Yeah, and, and look, unless you move, you play, you're playing at a higher level, people are not gonna play that line. Like I don't get it that often, but we have to know it. And like I always say, one of the perks of playing this opening, the Pierce defense, is that people don't really study it a lot. Like they play, they study how to play against the, the French, the Sicilian. With the Pierce defense, they just play it, and we are we should have more experience than ours. What to take with, guys? What would you capture with? What would you capture with? I mean, queen d4 is pretty straightforward. Bishop d4 a little bit trickier for both. Like I'm thinking, bishop d4, knight d4, a little bit annoying. Hmm. Hmm. Nah, nah, nah. Now the main line to review with this is some knight b5 ideas, but I think we should be fine. Now always c5, like uh, I, I, at the time when I was reviewing it, I had the option to play c5 or to play castle, and I just chose c5 and I just did review that. The thing is that if you play castle, you, you, there's a lot, there are other lines that you have to, to review. I mean, I might play it, but I have never prepared it. And I just decided, let me prepare c5 as much as I can, and that way I don't have to worry about castling and those other lines. Okay, so... Now it's just about development. Mm -hmm. to do what to do all right a little bit a little bit uh passive but it's a prophylactic move guys mm, i didn't want that 95 96 Now we both need to develop a minor piece. Let's see who gets to do it faster. Ah, interesting. Hmm. Now this knight is gonna be a monster on e5. Taking care of everything, I don't have to worry about it. Now, careful with giving them anything. Okay, they could do anything that's more than defended. Uh, is it? Yes.
Mm-hmm. Okay, let me go back to safety. check okay in between move not a good one cha 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 okay not cool not cool That was a draw, that was a draw. All right, good game, good game. At what point did I mess up? Let me take a look at this game, guys, if you don't mind. Let me take a look at the game review. Let me see, Some, somewhere there in the in time. I think the opening came out pretty well. Middle game was fine. The end game, I felt like I was better, but my opponent said, no, nope, I don't think so. <laughs> so, okay, let me see. 89% accuracy, not bad. One, two blunders for my opponent, one blunder for me, one missed win. Let me take a quick look. Okay, so opening is just pretty straightforward. Everything is theory. Bishop d7, g 4 All of this is theory. King f8, knight takes, queen a5, c takes d4, knight takes, king f7. Now, knight c6. c6 okay now king f7 h3 okay here i thought queen c5 made sense but it was a mistake knight c6 if they take i guess i have this move hmm. yep 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 c3 and then queen c3 and i'm hitting everything okay so now we know next time instead of queen c5 just uh knight c6 now they took and this is better for white no what 0 0.06 so this is roughly equal h6 okay i'm proud of that move uh prophylactic move back to g7 g5 okay that was a blunder and now we're winning by 244 and we still found it found a way to mess it up knight d7 knight d5 now let me just go i don't want to go all the way, but that part where, okay, this was a mistake. I thought I, I could get it back easily, but it was not the case. Okay, here I had rook f3. Didn't, didn't see it, play mechanically, and this was definitely not good. This is already roughly equal. Let me see if when I got, yeah, this is just equal. There's nothing, there's nothing here. All right, guys, uh, let me go ahead and find my next opponent. I'm getting, I keep getting the challenges. Let me close this. All right, let's do a 10 minute game. Why not? So black pieces. Ah, Richard, you said no increment, no game. Forget about that. <laughs> All right, let's play knight f6.
Okay, so London, let's do it. We had a London already. Maybe we try a different setup against it. Let's see. Let's try to get at least, let's try to get the pair of bishops. Oh yeah, okay, so let's said, take it. <laughs> no, I did not, I'm accept, you saw it guys, I'm accepting them as they, hmm, as they show, okay. Um, Right, let's play c5. Opposite side castling attack. We had like four good lessons on that. Let's see if we can find a way to open up blind towards the king. If I get to open the c file, great. They didn't let me, so now at least my queen is gonna come over to the queen side. Yep, gotta be careful with this. Ah, I didn't see it. What can I tell you if I didn't see it? All right, now no, there is no option but to go with all we've got. And this is a good example. If I'm losing by material, I need to go like crazy to, to, that, uh, to that king. Yeah, yeah, you could have played b6 earlier. Notice that I haven't, I didn't want to go for it, but uh, we learned it like that. Just go b6, bishop b7, then e5, you're right. And guys, the good thing about these systems that we play is that we have that flexibility. Okay, so bishop c4, knight takes c4. What threats do they have? Something like this. So candidate moves, or even knight e4. Like I like bishop c4, knight takes e4, queen a2, but I don't think that's gonna do a lot for us. b5, b4, like it better. All right, let me go with this. This is all I needed. I just needed to make contact. That's it. Yes, they could do knight c4, knight b3, but it doesn't matter. We made contact. We should be able to do something about that king before they do something about us. Okay, queen a6 or queen b5. No, 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 no. I want to get for that king. I'm gonna go for that king, guys. That's all I want. Now, I have two pieces hitting this knight, and they just don't care. Hmm.
There's something else that I want to do, but I'm I'm waiting for the right timing to to do that. Oh yeah, that's in the air. That's in the air. I was when I, I hesitated there because I was like, should I just take on C3? But nah, let's let's be patient. my pieces are working so that rook that was doing nothing here we brought over, we brought over brought it over to defend and then all of our threads are renewed nice three come on it's not nice three it's not nice I'm winning, so I really like that idea of simplifying the game. Alright guys, this should be this should be pretty easy now. What's the way to go? What's the way to go? I'm gonna take a look now. When when we finish, I'm gonna take a look to see if Queen F6 was um, was winning. I cannot. You mean when we, when I did all of the trades, just moving the queen out of the way? Hmm.
I do have a Discord, but I haven't been to it. Oof. Like when I created it, I didn't want to because I don't. I just don't. Ha I don't have the time. And many of you guys said, "Oh, do it anyways," and we take care of it. So I know that people are using it and they're interacting, but I haven't been to it in a long time. And rook and and pawn and 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 other pawns and bishops. Yeah, my opponent doesn't want to give up. All right. I hope he's not just going to wait until time runs out. Yeah, that's what we're doing, guys. Uh, feel free. Let me go here. Feel free to. Uh, okay, feel free to send me a challenge on chess.com. Here you can see my username. And that's what we've been doing for the last hour or so. Let me see, because I'm not getting any comments from YouTube. And that's a little bit odd. Okay, let me go to the next one. All right. Now, E4. Okay, French defense. Let me play D4. I haven't played the main line of the, of the French defense in a long time. Let me see, guys, because it's not normal that I'm not getting any comments from YouTube, only from Twitch. Uh, okay, nice C3. Yeah, I'm, I see your comments, guys, now on YouTube, but I'm not, I'm not getting them to, to the chat. Like, I cannot see them. All right. Um, Chopping off the bishop should be the, the logical move here, but let's delay it. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, the bishop d3 line is indeed very interesting, but let's give this a try. Let's keep it simple. Um, there's no way this is theory. <laughs> All right, let me just play. All right, so we already castled and they castled to the opposite side. So now we play chess. Cha, cha, cha. All right, let's try to open, open up lines. If they take the pawn, they take the pawn, but at least we get something towards that king. Come on guys, lesson 79, lesson 80, we talked about um, the King's Indian attack against the French and against the Sicilian. So with that, you could play it against anything. Now, if you don't like it, that's a different story. Yeah, there you go. Castle the opposite side, open line. And I think that's checkmate. All right, we got that one. Let me go to next game. All right, we're playing a 2100. Let's play our peers defense. No, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. And besides, even if you don't remember everything, you're going to be learning a lot of chess, guys. You're going to grow a lot. So I, I, I get what you're saying. All right, so this is, someone asked before, is the, is the Austrian the most aggressive against the peers defense? 
I think the 150 attack, I don't know if it's more aggressive, but I certainly get it more often than the Austrian. Now, what you see here, we've talked about it so many times that those of you who have been with me from the beginning, you should know exactly how to play this. Okay, D5, D5, D5. I have to be careful in some lines they take with check, which I don't like. But here we should be fine. No, 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 no. We looked at the uh, Pierce defense and the King's Indian defense in case they played D4. So that's what we played, uh, looked at the most. Of course, we looked at the check Pierce just because it's easier for you guys to get to the middle game. That was lesson 51, but with the idea that you transition into the regular, regular Pierce. Okay, uh, taking is very nice. Now, of course, we gotta look at uh, these lines, but I figured we should be fine with them. And now they have to be careful with my powerful bishop as well. I'm gonna take that pawn. <laughs> Let me ask first, what are they gonna do with that bishop? Probably castling was more accurate, but. Yeah, that one is cooking. That one is cooking. <laughs> we had a lot of things going, uh, coming up, guys. A lot of things coming up. Now, look at this isolated pawn in the center. We have an isolated pawn too, but they also offer semi-open lines to, to put pressure. So we keep improving our pieces at the expense of that bishop, why not? I'm gonna take it, I knew that was a possibility. I'm just gonna take it and now just hide.
Oof. Almost checkmate it or checkmate it? Oof. <laughs> I didn't calculate that far, I gotta say. the file I gotta close the file all right my rooker list is open now file is closed but there's a lot to do there's still a lot to do Mouse sleep, mouse sleep, mouse sleep. I was gonna do your rook and I don't know what, what happened. Hey guys, definitely it got complicated. <laughs> it got complicated. I think my opponent created, I don't know if they had enough for the sacrifice, but definitely created, it, it was, he was long time, but he definitely had me in a very uncomfortable position. Now, if I show you the full screen, so right now at that point, uh, it was slight, roughly equal actually. Now, let me see, yeah, 205, rook b to d8, oh, yeah. So I was gonna change my mind and bring the other rook in case they had this, just rook d7. So let me see with that move. Yeah, with that move, that's that's already pretty good for, for black. All right, we got Loki on that one. We could leave it as Loki. And let me go to my next opponent. All right, let's do it. Weak, uh, weaknesses everywhere, that's, that's a fact. All right. Uh, what is this, what is this? D5. Ah, I didn't, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't. I'm gonna go back, remind me before I start the next game, okay? It's just that you guys are putting so much pressure on me that by the time it's, um, by the time I have to analyze, I just go on to the next one and I forget about everything else. But I still, I still don't remember queen f6. Okay, they did queen f6. I save, I protect the queen. 
Couldn't they take on e4? I guess not. Okay. Okay, nice to develop with a tempo. And now we bring the rook to the same file as that queen. D4, knight f to D7. What to play, what to play, what to play. Nice, queen C7, interesting. Yeah, but at the same time, you're right about that, but when I play d4, they're gonna start putting pressure on it, and it's not gonna be so easy to defend. Now, ideally, I will get my pawn to e5. I have a pretty nice center. My bishops are pretty good as well. I have my rook on, this, on the only open file on the board. That, that must be good for us, eh? always in the air that's always in the air okay this night is a little bit weird where it is so I'm just gonna not mind it and go back play d4 we just gotta find the right timing to do so you know that's pretty much that's a lot of actually if you supplement that with lots of tactics training playing games you could, that, that's gonna take you pretty far that's gonna take you pretty far Okay, now I went back to safety. I could do this and <laughs> repeat. Or D4, like they're really tempting me. Hmm. Okay, D4 now. I don't want to repeat anymore. No, no draw, no draw, no, 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 no. Go draw somewhere else, not here. Okay, 94 is coming, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't wanna, wanna get checkmated.
Now this bishop, I want to keep it like that, locked in. So let's do so. Just trying to double up on the C file. No need to do so, but <laughs> all right. I guess uh, the night turned out to work. All right, guys, um, give me a break on, slow down. And let's go to last game, okay? I don't, I don't have any. Okay, yeah, I got. Let's see, got a few challenges. Let me actually take this one. And guys, I'm gonna take the last one. We've been here already for two hours. Let me. Okay, I think you have played. You had asked for. Let me play D4. See how that happens. Let's see how that works. No, okay, we're gonna do we, we finish now. After this game, uh, we go. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, and review that. Let's see if I remember if I remember what yeah I remember what game it was. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see if my opponent has reviewed the long and boring <laughs> lesson 96 with the burn variation. Just trying to get my opponent away from any comfortable positions. So I'm assuming they haven't played this in uh, that often. So we'll see. Ah, what am I doing? What am I doing? Now, A6 was the 100%, 100%. But then you start calculating, looking at all options, and you remember that you're not supposed to be playing so well. So you play bishop c4. <laughs> Every time we move upon it, weaknesses are created, so we go for those dark squares. I don't know. Um, I don't know. You know, the thing is that I'm doing these guys primarily for YouTube, 
that's why I have the, the, the whole channel is a course from beginners all the way to uh, more advanced lessons. And I've never optimized it for, for Twitch. So I have to go, go in and do something better with that. Okay, so this has to be winning material. Only move, we get the, the bishop. Probably that was something stronger, but... Okay, so I guess you can subscribe. Subscribe, okay. So it's not me, it's you. <laughs> but guys, even better, um, feel free to subscribe on YouTube because everything I do goes to YouTube first. So if you're doing it to just join us every time we go live or every time I release a new lesson, I think YouTube would be the best way to go. All right, guys, we got Lucky on this one. That's uh, checkmate. Again, my opponent was playing the Pierce defense, but it seems like if I were my opponent, I'll be focusing more on tactics, 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 and playing games than memorizing openings, okay? So with that said, let me know if you have, oh, queen f6. <laughs> let me go um, archive. Okay, so that was, let me see, not here. Was it this one? Let me see. No, it was not this one. Oh yeah, it was this one, it was this one, it was this one. Okay, right here. Ah, Queen F, oh no, no, they take only four, that's what I said. Couldn't they take only four? Yeah, no, look, if, uh, if you look here, the engine says, Rui is the top move, Knight takes F2 or Queen E7. But Queen F6, I think you just lose. So yeah, unless that's not what you meant, let me see. Uh, okay, good question. You know, I if I have to play one today, I would stick to the King's Indian attack. But, you know, that might be me, maybe because of my style, or maybe because I have more experience with it. Um, and it's since I play the King's Indian defense, I play the peers, it's it's more the, the, the typical, pos like the middle game positions are going to be more familiar to me than when I play the Collie, right? But it doesn't mean that the Collie is not, is not good. Okay, so I need to I need to see how I add that to, to Twitch. <laughs> All right, guys. Again, thanks like always for being here. New lesson coming out on Saturday. And of course, I will see you next week again live. And like always, if you have any questions, something that I didn't cover here, just put it in the, in the comments and I will get back to you. I try to, re to reply to almost every comment. So feel free to leave it there, okay? Okay, 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 okay. All right. All right, guys. Stay safe. Have a